welcome to the garden. I'm about to open my terrarium and I just noticed a little activity. This appears to be some kind of trail left by a little bug or a worm or something. But I really think this is a good sign. It means we have a little more bioactivity than just the isopod. So hopefully these animals will help clean everything up. They'll eat dead material and they're really all over the place. Look at this. All over the edges. So I'm going to be opening this up because it's getting a little too much heat. I could just open it a crack but I'm just going to pop the whole lid off. Look at those beautiful ferns. They're just incredible. Such a gorgeous color, such a soft texture. They're fully unfurled. So they really look spectacular. But my cat loves it. <laughs> he loves the smells and the colors. Something to rub against. You can see that beautiful creeping Charlie flower. How gorgeous is that? It's like a little gem. This is spectacular, isn't it? Ferns in a jar. I've kind of untucked them from their nightly position because they have softened up quite a bit. They're very delicate now so that I can just kind of tuck them in like this. They actually look really cool up against the glass. Everything is just bursting with life. Strawberry looks good. We got our dandelion sprouts. Looking really nice. I think that's what that is. There's a couple more too. There's one against the glass right here. It's looking very good. It's just incredible in here. It's a little jungle. A little bit of bioactivity. I've seen quite a few creatures in here. There's some like little mites crawling around on the ferns. There was a little red mite that I saw. There were a couple larvae. The ferns are just the star of the show here. <laughs> Look at that. They just fill the jar with their beautiful soft light leaves. And my little isopod is still kicking. He's got plenty of morning dew to feed on. And I'm hoping that he'll eat rotting leaves, any kind of dying roots, and any little bits of mold and fungus that sprout up. I really like having him in here. So everything is just bursting with life. This corner here is just dominated with this little guy. In about 
a week in it got this tall and it really hasn't gotten much taller. This is the tallest piece here and it's just now at the top of the jar. And I chose this because it is low growing. All these plants are low growing ground covers like the strawberry. These ones here were actually cuttings so they didn't have any roots but now they're really shooting up tall and they're kind of spreading all over the place which is really beautiful. Eventually those might flower too. And this one dominating this corner it has little white star shaped flowers. So I'm hoping all these plants will flower not just the Creeping Charlie because it's such a delight having flowers in a jar and ferns. It's just a spectacular experiment. This has been such a delight to watch. So I hope you guys enjoy these updates. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.